cute little Parker. These girls are big. Woo! Nice. Oh, look at her little belly. Parker, is that hard? That oh, one, calm her face. Calm yourself. Hello, little mama. That one should be good. Here he good, goes. Good. They're so cute. They're just holding it like a big old baby. Hello, friends and family. Hello. Lots of stuff going on this week. Uh, a big one is we got four girl pigs to go with our two male pigs. And our two male pigs we bought are intact and we will be able to breed. So now we have four females, two males. Mm -hmm. They're a slow growing breed called Cooney Cooney. So we won't be getting piglets anytime soon. It'd probably be over a year before we have babies from them. Mm -hmm. So they're doing well with the goats and we'll sh show you some clips of how they're doing. Mm -hmm. But they're cute. They're cute. They're fairly easy to handle and we're really enjoying it. Mm -hmm. It was it seemed like the right compromise between not getting pigs at all this year and getting you know the kind of pigs like hampshires and durox that are 250 pounds or more at six months old and you got to slaughter them before they turn into giant monsters these little cooney coonies won't be like that they have kind temperaments they're not as hard on the land and they're slower growing so mm -hmm. seems like a good intro to pigs for us yeah. Other things going on. We got Starlink and it's working and when it's working it's really fast although our site with all these trees around obstructs it mm -hmm. for a certain amount of time every day. I think it adds up to three or four hours of obstruction and you notice it in little increments of the internet going out. You can tell we're getting services satellites pass overhead and there's certain moments where it's blocked. So I could try getting the dish vertical we could try running yeah. cable to get it somewhere more clear, but it's honestly working fine right now yeah. as is. Okay. So it's just sitting behind the yurt. Um, if I buy mounting stuff, I'd probably mount it to the wooden uh, apparatus that's holding up the chimney. So we'll see. That's, that's a maybe on the list. The animals are doing great. What else Baby was I chicks? thinking about? Oh, our chicks are starting to hatch. Today was day 20 of 21 and we thought we had one more day, but there's little pecked holes and peeping coming out of some mm -hmm. of the eggs already Five so, of them out so, far. so the one disappointing thing is not a single one of our white eggs was viable so something interesting happened there where we know Gandalf was mating and the white eggs were fertilized so I'm thinking it's something to do with their temperature hardiness that they didn't hold up to the 40-ish degrees that they were hatched out into and sitting in until they started incubating or maybe I brought up the temperature too fast to that 100 degree mark and they didn't hold up to it like the brown eggs did but long story short we've got 17 brown eggs that look promising so we'll get somewhere between 5 and 17 new baby chicks yeah. here soon it's not as many as we would have liked but it's still going to be fun Mm -hmm. And we have plenty of eggs now already. We're oh, getting yeah. over a dozen eggs every day again. So, yep. What else? Baby's doing good. Eating a lot. We we spent some time cleaning up near the the old house. The excavators over there because there's some garbage just kind of matted and buried in grass and blackberries around the perimeter. So we're starting to scratch at that. Mm -hmm. And we did a load of stuff from the inside too. So. 
that's Good what's to been going chip on. away at that trash little by little will make it better. Yeah. So we'll show you clips of the different things we've been doing and then at the end we'll be back with the results of how the hatching is going. Mm -hmm. Based on our experience last time it could be, oh you got something on your nose. <laughs> <laughs> it could be a full 24 hours from start to finish of hatching. So mm -hmm. right now it's Wednesday afternoon. Yep. So we'll see by kind of Thursday evening what we're going to get. And we were alerted to the hatching, like kind of like we were last time, where Arya's like, what's that? I thought I heard a peeping sound. And so her and I were sitting in the living room, and we both heard that this morning, and went and looked, and there was a pip. Yeah, it's really wild. There can be the tiniest pipped hole in the egg, and the chick is already in there making noise sometimes. Uh -huh. it's, it's so It's really cute. wild. You'd think they don't make noise until they come out like a human baby, but... They're gonna be There's, noisy in the year. We're gonna have a noisy night tonight, I think. Yeah, so we need to put together a little brooder ready for them, and mm -hmm. then they'll live in the yurt with us for a few days to a week. We'll see when the noise and if they start to be smelly. Yeah, as long when as that we can bothers tolerate. us. <laughs> and then we'll kick them outside into a bigger brooder, probably in the shop. And I'm not sure if Tux would mess with them or not. To be safe, we're gonna need to make the brooder cat proof. Because <laughs> that'd be, a, <laughs> that sad, would be a sad way for the chicks to go is Tux attack. He probably would. Yeah, because they look like fun little. fun little toys. Yep. All right. All right. We will see you later with some baby chicks. <laughs> stepped on by a big old piggy. Poor maple. That was a heavy pig paw. Heavy pig hook. Dig, dig, what's, dig, what's going on, James? Well, my chick is just starting to hatch. Yeah, I got that there. Its wing is out. Its claw is out. That's number 12. Hello. What's in this box? So I went to the store to get a chicken water because the other one had broke and they had white leghorn chicks for 50 cents each. 50 cents? That's basically free. So here's some little cuties. Can I hold one? Yeah. Oh, so since we didn't, since we weren't able to hatch any white eggs, this is kind of a, kind of making up for it a little bit. Yeah. Cool. Okay, the chicks are all set up outside in a bigger brooder and 
the the one that hatched last and needed some help hatching didn't make it. It, it something was weird with its abdomen. I th I don't think it was gonna make it regardless of what we did. Mm -hmm. but that's okay. So we hatched sixteen of our own, Yay. all all brown eggs, fathered by Gandalf and mothered by our hens out there that lay brown eggs. Mm -hmm. Still weird that not a single white egg was a success. Yeah. I'm thinking it has something to do with temperatures, that they're more sensitive to temperature changes and we were collecting eggs in February, late mm -hmm. February so into March. Cold. Well, not even into March, it was in February. So maybe next year we'll try hatching white eggs but um, wait until spring or summer. We'll see. Yeah. But uh, I'll take the camera outside and show a little bit of what they're doing. Mm -hmm. But that's it. It was fun to watch again. Yeah, it's so fun to see eggs hatch. <laughs> and now we're just going to plug away at different projects. And <laughs> Tina's parents are coming to visit for a week. So that will be fun. Yeah. Huh. You get to meet Grandma and Grandpa. Woohoo. All right. Bye. See bye. ya. Mama. Bye. 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 Mama. Watch it. Bye. 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 James, can you reenact what just happened? And then he dropped the banana, like so. And then he slipped, <laughs> and then he slipped on the banana. You're like a cartoon character, slipping on a banana peel. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Who's up there? Who's that cutie pie? Hello. Hi. Faria! Your name's not far, you're really nice. Far, yeah.